Wisconsin's lakes and waterways are teeming with many varieties of fish. In this short video, we'll visit with fish expert John Lyons from the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources and learn about some of the most interesting fish in the Wisconsin River. Okay, this is a bluegill, and the bluegill is probably the most common and widespread fish in the state. We find it in all kinds of habitats from big lakes, little lakes, streams, rivers, and it really is the people's fish because it's one of the most popular fish that people fish for and certainly one of the most common fish that people actually catch. And it's delicious to eat and it is the backbone of most of the fisheries that we have, most of the lake fisheries we have in the state. So this is about an average sized bluegill. It's about six or seven inches long, which is pretty typical. A really big bluegill is gonna be about nine or 10 inches long and weigh maybe a pound. So they don't get particularly big. But they make up for that by just being numerous and being very willing to bite. So the bluegill uh, lives to be about five or six years. They mature when they're about three years old and maybe five inches long. And at that point, they have a very interesting life history and a very interesting reproductive behavior. The uh, males set up territories and build little nests in the shallows and there'll be groups of males all together and the anglers often call this area the beds where the males are bedding down waiting for females in order to spawn and they try to attract the females into spawn and then spawn with the females guard the eggs and then guard the larvae that hatch out until they're old enough to fend for themselves this is a male bluegill and this is the type of bluegill that will guard the nest and guard the young and the eggs after the female has spawned here but there's another type of smaller bluegill a smaller male bluegill that's called the sneaker male. And that male actually looks like a juvenile. It doesn't have the colors and the size that a typical male will. And that male just hangs around the edge and waits until the big male here is engrossed in spawning with the female and then literally tries to sneak in between them and fertilize a few eggs before the big, fe uh, the big male ch chases that little sneaker male away. So there's some really interesting things going on in the beds here. Another sort of strategy that the males use is that they're what are called satellite males. And these males actually look like females. And so they mimic a female. They come into the nest at the same time that a true female is spawning with the male. And they try to dupe the, the male into thinking that he's got a second female there, when in fact they're a, a male in disguise trying to steal a fertilization. So the spawning ecology of a bluegill, this most common, really well-known species in the state, is is just a fascinating aspect that people really don't know very much about. 